Is it possible to complete Fancy Pants Adventures World 1 without touching the floor? Let's give it a try. Okay, maybe not. As you see, the level starts us off with touching the ground, so we need some kind of rules. We spawn right here, and we need to go all the way over there without touching the ground in between. To make this possible, we are allowed to touch the ground when we spawn in a level, and whatever platform the door to finish the level is on. In the code, platforms aren't the same as ground, but for the sake of the challenge, we are counting them as the same thing. I'm using cutie pants because their grappling hook and enemy riding abilities make it possible. An important ability to know is that cutie pants can ride on the back of enemies. Using the spider, we can get through much of the beginning of this level. I will be fast forwarding through the spider ride since it does take a bit of time. I jump on the spring twice to get some height to get to the second spider. After I ride the second spider, we can use a little bit of ceiling above us to get through the big hump and get lucky enough to land on another spider to carry us to the next part of the level. I'm assuming there might be another way to beat this level without the spiders, but it just makes this level way easier. After we hop off the spider, I need to hit some swings that aren't too difficult to pull off, but I need to be careful. It can be very easy here to touch the floor since it is a tight gap. Once I get through the tight gap though, I get to an even bigger gap and this is a little bit easier to pull off. We avoid the mouse with the gun and we get to the end platform. Level 1 transition is very easy, but I had to draw a diagram on the right just to show it off. A couple wall jumps and that's it. Luckily this isn't the remix version where the level's a lot harder. Level 2 starts with a gap that I thought was impossible to make. Getting to the first spring is simple, but after that you need enough momentum to clear the gap and get onto the other spring. I tried many different techniques and nothing would get me far enough. I quickly realized that getting straight into the spring would be impossible. I asked the Fancy Pants speedrun on Discord if they could get it because they are more skilled than I am, and Luke Plays immediately responded to me. He got very close to making it and it was one of the ways I'd already tried, but I kind of deemed that way impossible. I didn't think that setup would give us enough momentum to get over it. He posted another clip, but this time it was something that I hadn't tried. Luke barely didn't make it on this attempt, so I knew if I kept trying I could get it eventually. In this new strat, he swings into the wall, then wall jumps into a swing, which is what gives him a good boost. I failed at this a lot. I finally hit it. With that clip I touched the floor, but with a few more tries I was able to get it without touching the ground at all. I did the same strat as before, but this time I was able to cling onto the little slope and make it. The only problem with defeating the impossible jump is that the next part after it is actually impossible to get through without touching the floor. The reason the next area is impossible to get through is because there's no ceiling to grab onto. Even though that little part of the level can't be done, I'm going to do the rest of it just to show it off. I really like the way that the rest of the level flows together, so I'm just going to let it play out. First it starts off with the climb up the side. This takes a bit so I can get to the right height to reach the platform. After getting to the moving platform, I need a good enough swing that will get me to the middle. The gap between the two platforms is so small that it makes it difficult. I was only able to hit this trick one time. Once I was able to make the jump and latch onto the last platforms, I spent way too much time waiting for my opportunity to be able to make it to the spring. This level starts off with us getting on another spider, but I made sure to speed it up. The jump between the rocks was pretty precise and I had to make sure I could cling on the wall so I wouldn't fall through and die. 
It did take me a while to climb up, but eventually I got in. I was able to get into the spider. I stayed on the spider for a long time because I wanted to see how far it actually went and I wanted to get a good jump off of it. After trying this next jump for a while, I don't think it's possible. Ah, there we go. Anyway, we have to hop onto the spider and then make this really tight jump to hop onto another spider. I need to jump on the spring a couple times to wait for a spider to come by so I can ride it. And then next I'll try to get to the bird on the top. I have to wait on the spider for a while because the bird is so slow that I need to wait for it to come back on screen. After landing on the bird, I miss a tight gap and I do think it's possible, but I couldn't get it. Now this is where I landed on the ground for the first time, but I think you may be able to do it if you land on the birds just right, but I wasn't able to do that. And the next part is impossible just because there's nothing to hang on to on the top. If you get to the cave at the end, you can actually make it through the end without touching the ground. The problem is we already touched the ground before this, so this level is not possible. The penguin boss fight is very simple because all I need to do is cling onto the side of the walls, stomp on him, then reattach. I did feel bad about it because he didn't do anything wrong. I did this three times and that was the end of trying to beat the game without touching the ground once.